Foster Heating and Cooling Royal Blue on Shaw TV is brought to you by Foster Heating and Cooling. For more information on residential and commercial installations, check out fosterair.com. The Victoria Royals are back in blue heading into their fourth Western Hockey League season. After the team relocated from Chilliwack, they rebranded to replace the East Coast Hockey League Salmon Kings in 2011. General Manager Cam Hope stands behind his head coach, Dave Lowry, both having received end-of-year awards from the Western Hockey League last season. In true royal fashion, Hope was coronated as League Executive of the Year. Well, it's a big honour. If you look back at the guys that have won that award over the last 15, 20 years, it's the who's who of the Western Hockey League. And uh, um, I think really in the end, uh, you win an award like that when you're voted by your peers, um, when you haven't been around long enough to really make them mad at you. So uh, I had to sneak that one in before they got to know me. And Lowry crowned top coach. You know, it's a tremendous honor. With Cam, it's, it's, a, it's an easy place to come and work and, and they allow you to come and do your job. As a tandem, they've smashed franchise records in their first year with 35 victories, topping that with 48 wins and 100 points last season. Former assistant coach of the Calgary Flames, Lowry's contract has been extended. The Victoria Royals have got some new blood on the bench. Rookies in their first season begins with number one, goalie Evan Smith from Colorado. Number four, Ralph Jarrett. The 6'1", 165-pound rearguard has earned a reputation of being a shutdown defenseman with great potential. Coaches say he can play in all situations. Number 10, Christian Furlatak, an import from Slovakia. The 5'10", 181-pound forward is sharp on his skates and chock full of ability. Another new forward, the Royals' number 15, Matthew Campesi. 5'10", 167 pounds. Coaches say he demonstrates leadership on the ice. Uh, I'm a left winger. Um, I think my expected role is to, to work hard, first and foremost, to help the team win, um, to contribute offensively to the team. Um, and you know what? Just work hard in all areas of the ice. Yeah, well, what about your speed? How fast are you? Uh, I like to think I'm, I'm a quick player. That's part of my game, so i uh, always improving that. <laughs> More Royals rookies looking to earn their stripes. We've got number 19, Dante Hanoon. Having played last season with the Greater Vancouver Canadians, the 5'6 centre scored 24 goals in 32 games. You know, a lot of these guys, it's the first time they're living away from home and, and they've got to put school in, they've got their social life, they've got to know that uh, you know when it comes the time to come to the rink that uh, the expectation is it's a professional approach. Number 24, it's Regan Nagy. 5'11", 148 pounds, a Saskatchewan native who spent last season with the Moose Jaw Generals. He's been coined as a smart player with great vision and a stinger shot. Another former Moose Jaw General is right winger Jared Dimitru. Uh, it means the world to me, you know, watching the WHL growing up, always wanted to be here, play here, and now it's finally here, so trying to take, uh, uh, take control of this opportunity and uh, uh, hopefully have a good season. <laughs> Fans will recognize two familiar faces back for their second season with the Royals. Firstly, number 17, Tyler Soy. The total package forward scored 15 goals for the Royals last year. You know, I've got a, a year under my belt, more confident, and uh, I think it's going to be a good year this year. So, you know, I'm hoping to uh, crack a top six lineup spot and then on the forward side of things and, you know, chip in offensively as well as be solid defensively. And finally, number 29, Chaz Redekop, the towering six foot two defenseman pushing a physical game behind the blue line. Yeah, obviously, um, if you're a bigger guy, you're expected to play big. So I'm going to go out there and play hard and uh, play physical. What's a typical day for a, a Victoria Royal? Um, well, we come to the rink uh, usually 9 a.m. to check in. We uh, come in and we uh, change into our stuff and we head up into the gym. That's uh, usually when we work out or we uh, do whatever we need to do. And then uh, practice is usually around 10. So we practice hard. And then uh, if, if you're a school guy, you got to go to school till about 3. And then uh, you got the rest of the day off. What kind of advice are you going to give to the newer players? Yeah, obviously, um, coming in as your first year, it's, um, it's always a learning curve. So I think uh, that'll be a lot of help. I'll try to let the younger guys know kind of what's expected in the team and the organization. So I think the uh, second year guys can really help out the younger guys on uh, what to expect and uh, what to bring. 
reporting for Foster Heating and Cooling's Royal Blue. Having a royal look at the rookies, I'm James Green. Foster Heating and Cooling Royal Blue on Shaw TV is brought to you by Foster Heating and Cooling. For more information on residential and commercial installations, check out fosterair.com.